Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Renee, on what we can do when we get a warning when we scale in local or world mode, as well as how it can be avoided. Okay, so to illustrate this, I have a scene from the introduction to Maya 2011 course. And if we were to, say, select this engine here, we notice that our scale values are set to 1, 1, and 1, which is what we would expect. And we could come into our scale tool and go ahead and scale this guy up. Uh, notice the values adjusting here. Or if we wanted to scale in just one direction, say just in Y, notice that just the Y value is going to be adjusted. Now this is uh, going to happen when we're scaling in object mode. So basically it's scaling the object. Okay, but there are a couple different scale modes available to us. So if we double click on the scale uh, tool here, we can see the scale axes. And uh, right now by default, if we reset this, it's set to object. And that's where we can go in and scale this guy to our heart's content in any axis that we prefer. But if we were to adjust this to something like a local mode or a world mode, uh, take a look at what happens when I scale this. Now I can still scale it uh, uniformly and have our values adjust, but if I were to say just scale this in the Y, notice that we get this warning down here. It's telling us that this information that we've done, this scale that we've done is being baked into the components. Well, what does that mean? Well, if we notice our values here, let's go ahead and reset these to 1. We notice that when I reset them to 1, the scale in the Y is no longer where it was before. So if I were to come in here and scale this up, notice that our values for the scale are not adjusting. So basically, this is the same as if we were to come into our vertices and manually move these vertices around. It's actually baking this information into the geometry itself. So depending on our project, uh, we may want that or we may not want that, but that's just something that we want to keep in mind is that when we do a scale in an axis, say X, Y, or Z, an individual axis, in anything other than object mode, it's going to actually bake that into the geometry itself. Now, uh, if you're unfamiliar with the difference between the different modes, um, let's go ahead and I'm going to hop into the rotate real quick because this will be an easy way to take a look at it. Uh, you notice right now with my rotation, everything is as we would expect. We have our Y rotation, Z, and X rotation. Uh, so let's go ahead and say rotate this guy. We can see that our manipulator is also rotating with the object. Okay, so now that I've rotated this guy over here, our rotation, or rotation tool has updated accordingly based on the rotation of this object. But if I were to come in and double click on my rotation and adjust the rotate mode to world, similar to what we did with the scale tool, notice how the axes change. So let's uh, take a look at the axis here. In fact, I'll go hit, hit plus to make this a little bit larger so we can see it better on our screen. And right now I'm in world mode, but watch the X axis here, the red one, when I switch to world mode or to local mode. We can see that that's jumped over here because this object has the X axis right here, whereas the world has the X axis right here. And we can see that down here in our little axis in our viewport, we can see the world axes. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're working between these different modes, between object mode, world mode, and so on. So that's something to keep in mind while you're working on your projects.